Today we're going to turn your Twitch clips from this to this. Which is going to be way better for your TikToks, Reels, and Shorts. So let's move to the PC. All right, so we're going to open up Premiere and we're going to end up here. Um, we'll just go to New Project for this one. Give it a name. We'll say Never Seen It on this one. I'm just going to create it. I'm not going to add any media or anything. Obviously, import your clip. We'll do this one. We're going to make a new sequence here. As you're going to go to Settings, Custom. And then I like to do 60 frames per second because that's what I stream in. We do 1080 by 1920 on the frame size. Uh, make sure to do square pixels. Sometimes it can like stretch it if you do something else. And then you'll just click save as preset and you'll name it and it'll show up here in the sequence presets. This is our sequence. So I moved my timeline over from my second monitor. Uh, all we're going to do is we're going to drag the clip onto the timeline. This is going to say it doesn't match. Just keep existing settings. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hold alt and then drag a clip onto the top one. So this is gonna duplicate it. So you're gonna have two of the same clip. Now you're gonna go into your effects and crop. Now I don't necessarily have to do this because my camera is in the bottom left corner all the way in the corner. As we add this crop effect, it's going to remove the rest of the frame here. So we'll crop it in and then we're just gonna scale this up and we're gonna lose a little bit of quality here it's worth it TikTok's gonna compress it instagram's gonna compress it youtube's gonna compress it anyway so all you're gonna do now is select the other clip i'll show it on the timeline you're gonna select the other clip your bottom clip and this one you'll scale up and then we just kind of want to fill in the rest of that space there now if we play it back why are you looking at me like you're taking a selfie, dude? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, stop moving. Okay, hold on. You're never gonna see this coming. <laughs> now we have the setting here for your crop. Uh, if you keep your cam in the same place every stream, then you can just drag your clip on and you can actually right click on this and save it as a preset. This you can just apply to this top clip every single time. It'll save down here in your effects presets. So you'll be able to just drag it onto the clip and you won't have to worry about like doing the individual crop every time. So yeah, then you just export it, file, export media. First of all, give it a file name. I'm not gonna export it, so I don't care. Um, and choose where you wanna export it to so you can find it. Then you'll go to your video settings and you'll click more. Render at maximum death. Render at maximum depth, not death. You do not want to die. And then use maximum render quality. And for the bit rate, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter as long as you're using enough. If you're doing a 1080 by 1920, uh, I usually do constant bit rate. It's gonna take a little longer to encode depending on your PC. And uh, then I do 40. Then you just click export and you're good to go. I hope this helped. If it did, leave a like, maybe subscribe, maybe come and shine my shoes, because I think I got some scuffs on them. Have a good day.